Okay, folks, so let's start creating our materials. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a uh, layer for our, let's see, uh, other materials and another layer. Just double click. This is going to be our main, um, maybe cord cloner materials. And I'm just going to add all of these materials to these other material layers and start creating materials uh, on this uh, cord uh, cloner material for this cloner. So let's uh, go ahead and disable our main cloner. So we have a, a snappy viewport and we can simply add our materials. Okay. Now let's uh, start adding the <laughs> materials. Um, let's open up the cord cloner layer. I'm just going to delete this material even though it doesn't matter really, but let's actually have it. Okay, let's start creating our materials. Uh, the only two channels that I'm going to be using uh, throughout this material is color and diffusions, so we're not going to be using anything else. Uh, there's a possibility that we might uh, enable bump if we uh, have some really close shots, but really, I don't think it's really... Uh, it would be that visible, so I don't think it's really at to render time, so I don't think we're going to be using it. So for the color, let's uh, start uh, adding, using this first color, I'm going to enable the fusion and this in this texture channel, you can load up this paper texture that JPEG that uh, you have access to. And uh, this will just uh, give our uh, shader a nice papery look, as you can see, and it's going to be very nice. So let's uh, apply this uh, first uh, material to the uh, our this cylinder. Let's control drag this material and create another material, and let's change the color to the second color. And uh, uh, you can see the values here. So let me just uh, control drag one more time and change the color to this color. And let's apply this second material to our second cylinder and this third material to our uh, third cylinder. And now um, for these guys, let's create another material. Or actually, let's just control drag that this material here. Change the color to this one. And let's uh, apply it to this maybe, uh, first two. Uh, control drag the material, uh, select this color and apply it to this one here. And let's go to open uh, up here. Actually, let's close or and just close this uh, coordinate window here. Let's uh, control drag, uh, change the color to this white grayish color, it kind of gets grayish because of this diffusion layer, so let's uh, apply it to this tube, uh, control drag, and let's uh, use this color and apply it to this tube here, open up this one, control drag, change the color, apply it, Control drag, come down here, change the color to this one again, and apply that. And for this last layer, as you can see, our layer is getting colored, sort of. I just want to, this is the uh, component that has four elements. If I go closer and find one of them, there we go. This is this one that we're done now. Um, sort of adding the texture. And uh, <clears throat> let's just uh, find different, uh, just actually I'm going to create another material because there is this color that we haven't used. And now I can uh, basically use uh, from these materials and pick four of them to add to our scene. Let's uh, start maybe by uh, this one, this one. This one, maybe this one, and there we go. It looks like 
this. Uh, let me just control click this uh, cloner so it's open up our, all of our elements and see. And there is this tube that we haven't added any elements to. Let's see what colors really are colors in harmony. So I'm not sure. Let's actually add this material and also add this one too. Okay, now there we go. And the only thing that is sort of problematic, as you can see, we got this uh, texturing problems uh, for these uh, different parts. Okay, now uh, to sort this texture uh, problems here, just uh, we're going to let's select all of our textures here and uh, then go to the attributes manager change the projection projection from UV mapping to cubic and the next thing uh, is let's go to something like let's see 50 or even 25 okay I think this is quite nice and we have this texture look uh, and that's so great so let's just uh, see how these guys are gonna look. Let me have my main cl cloner back again. And um, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select all of these materials and add them to this layer here. So uh, we got, uh, I think we're, we're gonna have to do it. There we go. Now we have this material in layer also. Let's just uh, have a quick render and see what's going on. I'm gonna pause the video and render. Okay, so this is our first render and as you can see, definitely the colors are matching uh, very nicely and uh, I really like uh, what's going on in here. Uh, let's just uh, get a bit closer and uh, see uh, how the textures are looking. Let's have a render like this, for example. Uh, so, okay, so this is our render, and I think, uh, as you can see, the textures are really, really nice, and uh, uh, really adding uh, that texture to our diffuse uh, layer adds a lot to our final render and uh, make this simple uh, cube and circle and cylinders look alive. Uh, and uh, so uh, let's continue in our next lesson.